Okay, so to remind you again, our, how's our wall supposed to fit on our foot? Just like that, right? And so, um, obviously that's not what happened to this mare. And so, you know, human error in understanding the foot by a farrier, uh, you know, it, yeah, okay, say the horse just had laminitis. Well, she had no chance whatsoever Okay, because these jammed walls can happen whether a horse has laminitis or not. Okay, ingrown and jammed bars can happen whether a horse has laminitis or not. And so what it does is, is it, it excavates the problem. And, um, you know, a lot of times a horse will make it through a case of laminitis. But this did not happen overnight. You know, the laminitis, she didn't get laminitis, and then they just released, and, and she fell through the bottom of her foot. You know, this was a slow, ongoing process to where the foot was eventually so lifted up in the back by the jamming walls here and by the ingrown bars that uh, it just pushed the foot up off the sole of the capsule and the horse started growing another set of sole under there and from what I'm seeing here possibly another bar as well just as she did on this foot so you know this is what happens and uh, there's all kinds of different hoof distortions okay this is this probably happens uh, more than what people think. And uh, I think there's a lot of horses going around in a semi-state of this. Okay? And, you know, horses, a lot of times, they, they're in pain, but they don't show it. And they don't necessarily limp. By the time they limp, you got a problem. Okay, so, so this is how the wall should be connected to the foot. So we're going to talk a little bit about... Um, the different things this wall can do. Now, as you remember, okay, you see where the coffin bone is attached right here. And this horse had a real nice tight white line, good toe. Okay, now this horse, too, had a real tight white line. Now, she wasn't foundered two months before when she got uh, shod. Okay? And, um... So that farrier looked at the foot and didn't see much wrong. Now, I cleaned this foot up, okay? But it's obvious by looking at the foot I didn't clean up that he never trimmed the bars. You know, it would take a while for two sets of bars to grow up into the hoof like that. Um, so, you know, this is, this is one case. So we're going to discuss a little bit about what can go on with these toes. Now, there's different things that can happen here. Now, you've heard of a stretched white line. Okay, that would be like, okay, a lot of times when this wall starts getting stretched forward, okay, it's the lamina will stretch in it just like the lamina stretched in this foot, even though in this case the toe got pulled back. Okay, and in her case, the sole stayed covering this area so you didn't know that was going on see look 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 like that and of course for a long time didn't have this here but uh, so the sole covered that up so she had a very stretched white line obviously a laminar wedge and yet she had a tight white line here um, so this happens too when a toe stretches forward. You'll see cases where, um, okay, if we look down here, let's look at this. Okay, now here you have your sole and here you have your wall. And they meet right up in here and then they travel down to the ground together, connected. And that's what this yellow line is right here. It's not the white, white line you're seeing there, but there is a yellowish line right next to there that links the sole and the wall together. Now, this can, this can separate, okay, if the wall separates 
from this side of the white line, the wall will go out that way, the sole will not stretch forward or the white line, and um, a lot of times then you'll see the, the stretched lamina in the toe. Um, and, and that's when people sometimes start having a problem with what they call white line disease and all that. Okay, now at other times, the sole and the white line, even though the toe is stretching forward and the lamina are increased and stretching away from the coffin bone here, well, the sole and the white line will stretch all with it. So you'll still have a tight white line clear out here, but the sole and the white line have covered it over. Um, I've seen two cases where the sole did not stretch forward, where the wall separated and flared out, and also the lamina did not stretch, and the wall totally pulled out away from the coffin bone, clear out here, and there was just a big gap up in here. Um, the bone actually looked, you could see the coffin bone, it actually looked dried like that, and there was like a cave under there, or a big gap. You know, there was nothing there, just a big hole. And so, uh, so you see this can do, uh-oh, we're losing height here. Um, so the wall can do several things. It can separate in several different ways. Um, the lamina can stretch, or uh, the wall can, can just tear away from the lamina totally. So, um, you know, you can't just, every foot is not the same. Um, they're going to do different things. But I think the most common is that regardless of what, you know, whether the lamina proliferates and increases and stretches with the wall, the one thing that happens is that most of the time it seems like um, the sole and the white line stretch with the wall that's going out this way. So, uh, and that's why it's so hard for people to tell that their toes are stretched forward. A lot of times there's all kinds of damage hidden up in there that you don't even see. So, uh, let's see, what else do we want to talk about? Oh, my camera is wanting to get up there. Well, I can't figure out which, which, oh, I figured it out, which button to do here. Okay, um, let's see. Okay, I may, may mention another thing on this here. Okay, uh, right back here, you see this here? This is periopal. Okay, and it covers the bulbs and stuff like that. And um, uh, what you find when the foot is jacked up in the back with uh, jammed up walls here and it's pushing up the inter internal foot, it'll also really stretch this periopal but it can only stretch so far. And um, as you see on this mare and on some other videos I did on her right after I got these feet, um, I could squirt water in here and it would spurt out over here. Well, gee, now we know why, don't we? You know, because her whole hoof capsule was practically detached. Alrighty then. <laughs>